Dave Palumbo here outside my house. It's Monday. You know what happens on Mondays. It's a crazy day here at RX Muscle, especially since we have a little bit of changing of the guard. Johnny Styles is gone. I have my new guy, Tyler, here. We're going to be doing some cool filming. I have a radio show to do with Chris Aceto, a podcast to do with Stone Cold Steve Austin. I'm not interviewing him. He's interviewing me. And I got to send a snake out. I have a ball python, one of the ones I produced. I got to send out to a bodybuilding fan who ordered it from me. I'm going to bag that guy up and I'll show you how I do that. I know you guys always want more day in the life of Dave Palumbo's. Well, it's a crazy day today. Come on inside and join my world. This is something that I, I love. I am a pumpkin fanatic. And around Halloween and Thanksgiving, they have pumpkin products that come out. I don't drink caffeinated coffee. I only drink decaf. They never have the little pods that I put in this little machine. So. Luckily, I don't know how I did it, I found pumpkin spice coffee that's decaf. See that, decaf? Mm -hmm. And it's not in the pods, but I bought this little thing that kind of makes it a pod thing. So you can actually pour it in there and then close it and then you have, it's like its own little pod. And it goes right in here and you make coffee and I've been drinking it and it's delicious. I believe I got this at Target. So if you guys want it, try pumpkin spice decaf. It's at Target. So Tyler, say hello to Chris. Zeta. What up, Chris? <laughs> What's happening, Tyler? Are you 26? He's 26, he is. How did, how did you know that? Have kids. How did you immediately know No that? kids. He said 26, no kids. Because it's called experience, right, Chris? <laughs> <laughs> uh, he has that, that innocent uh, voice still, right? He hasn't yeah, been yeah. beaten down by his time yet. Yeah. <laughs> I consider myself a professional athlete. Mm -hmm. I acted like one. I trained like one. I performed like one. But then I was also a rock star. And I acted <laughs> like one and I performed like one. And that's all fine and dandy. You know, when you're when you're young, you're bulletproof and you can get away with it. You know, that, that was the lifestyle I was living. But to your point, you know, now at 52, hey man, I'm here for the long haul. But talk to me about some of the supplements one might want to consider. The three or four supplements that I, look, I tell people are necessities. Everything else is a luxury item. The necessities are a vitamin and mineral formulation that actually has real amounts of vitamins and has chelated minerals that enable you to absorb them. That's number one important, so most important supplement. Number two, okay, is an essential fatty acid supplement because none of us get the essential fats. We're talking the omega-3, you know, fats and the omega-6 fats. And the threes you should always get from an animal source of fat like fish oil, okay, or krill oil. So those two are imperative. Then every Americ every person in the world probably pretty much, unless you're walking around naked outside in the sun on the equator, is deficient in vitamin D. So you should be, even though my V-mineralized formula does have 2,000 units of vitamin, e, vitamin D in there, you need an extra 5,000 units. So you should be taking 7,000 IUs of vitamin D3 a day. Those three, imperative, add the fiber as your fourth, and those are your top four supplements every single person should take. I, I gotta say, I thoroughly enjoyed, I watched from start to finish, your conversation on RX Muscle with Boston Lloyd. <laughs> <laughs> I know you've had, a, you've had him on a few times, yeah. but I mean, golly, the one that when he was talking about some of the stuff that he was doing, some of the stuff that you were recommending, yeah. they pull back a little bit, but he's just a very candid, open <laughs> guy, and I just enjoyed the hell out of it. I, again, I'm a, I'm, a, I'm a fan of the sport. And it, to hear some some of the things that, that, that are out there is just, just flat out amazing. And the guy's very candid. I enjoyed the hell out of it. You know, of all the people I thought you would mention, I, that was the last name I thought I'd hear from you, but I'm sure he'll be thrilled to know that you, you mentioned him. Oh, I mean, but he seemed like a real knowledgeable guy, obviously. He's, you know, he's a good kid. And, and the fact that he was so candid. Yes, he's very candid. Guys, you, like you said, he'll give you half-truths or, yeah. you know, a little bit of this, a little bit of that, but the guy puts it on a table, so I had to respect that. <laughs> Radi I call it radical honesty. Hey, man, uh, it, it was great talking with you, Dave. Uh, you've got me uh, tremendous results. Appreciate uh, everything you've done for me. I look forward to continue working with you in the future. And uh, thanks for taking the time out and do the Steve Austin show. My pleasure, Steve. Steve Austin, Stone Cold, man, oh doesn't get better than that. That's he. He's exactly who he is in the wrestling world. On, in, in, I told you that when I talked to him on the phone. He's exactly Stone Cold Steve Austin. That's his personality. No bullshit. You get what you get, and that's you know that's why I get along well with him because I'm a. I, I just call it like it is, and he loves that. You know? All right, guys. We're in my snake room. This is what I call snake room. Snake room one has no snakes in this. This is snake room two, the big room. And then snake room three is where I have all the smaller snakes and the babies. I got my snake bag and we got a bag up the snake that I'm going to be sending out. It's called a GHI Mojave. 
The GHI stands for Gotta Have It. Mm, GHI Mojave 2, GHI Mojave 2, that's her. Okay. Of course, she's in shed. Being in shed means she has old skin on her. You can see that's peeling off right here. And I'm not going to have time to get this off, so I will just tell him that you should soak him when you get it, and then this, whole skin, this skin will peel right off. So what we do is, now you see, snakes actually like, especially ball pythons, like to be kept in small, small areas. So we put her in there. We put a little bit of paper towel in case she goes to the bathroom in here on the trip. I'll turn this so I know that I can, this girl is gone. And I'm going to show you how I pack it up. My wife doesn't like the ball pythons. She, she thinks they're boring. She likes the boa constrictors. But I, I like the ball pythons because they have some incredible color. I have this up. Yes, we don't want the snake escaping. Be too safe. We don't want the snake. We don't want the snake getting out. But we, you, it's okay if the snake moves around in the bag because if he gets a little hot on one side of the box, he can move to the other side of the box. So he has the ability to move here. You just don't want him to, to escape. That's the key. Okay. If you see, we have an insulated box here, and the great thing about this is that it keeps the temperature relatively stable. So we take a few paper towels. You could use newspaper, some people use styrofoam pieces, and this is it. Then we got to take this to FedEx and we ship it off and uh, I send it overnight. He'll have it tomorrow morning by 10.30 and hopefully he'll be calling me and telling me, right on, I love the snake. And that's a snake in a box. And that's a snake in a box, that's right. <laughs> I am a pumpkin fanatic.